Hey guys, Frightener22 here, and welcome back to part 2 of my January 5th DVD update. Let's continue. Um, the next thing that I had gotten was something that I found at uh, Barnes & Noble of all places, and I've always seen it um, either the first one, uh, mainly in stores, whether it be on DVD or Blu-ray, the Jane Doe um, edition of the film, but I can never seem to find the sequel, so I found this at Best Buy, and it is the new editions of the films that came out just a few years ago, but it's in one pack, so uh, I'm talking about the Fletch collection, and I was really surprised, because I didn't even realize that they had come out with kind of like a double a double disc kind of thing. That was the thing that I was weary about. I, I wanted to make sure that it was on two separate discs as opposed to like a flipper disc, but, you know, uh, lo and behold, it's actually the Jane Doe um, edition of Fletch, and then Fletch Lives on two separate discs, and this was only 15 bucks, and normally um, Fletch, you know, by itself goes for at least 10 to 15, so they, this is the only copy that they had, so I was really uh, happy to find this in stores, because if I wouldn't have seen this, I wouldn't have known. I probably would have bought um, Fletch 1 and then probably tried to find uh, Fletch Lives online somewhere, so this was really a surprising find, so I'm really happy to have this. I haven't watched Fletch Lives, but I love the original Fletch. Hilarious. Chevy Chase is fucking hysterical in Fletch. If you haven't seen the original Fletch, absolutely check that one out. Just awesome, awesome comedy. Uh, the next one I got is the first Blu-ray I'm going to show you guys, and I think I only have two Blu-rays in this whole collection, which is surprising, but nonetheless, here it goes. Uh, I got the Blu-ray of Jennifer's Body. Um, you can actually see my review for this film in the At The Movie section on my playlist, so definitely uh, check that one out if you guys are curious about my thoughts on this, but the nutshell uh, you know, version of what I can tell you about it is I really loved Jennifer's Body. I thought it was really, really cool, really fun funny, uh, very tongue-in-cheek, but it definitely brought in some gory moments, which was really cool to please a horror fan such as myself, but, uh, you know, it was really cool. I had bought this on um, the day it came out, and this, um, it includes both the theatrical and the unrated um, versions. It comes with audio commentaries, um, you know, a bunch of featurettes, deleted scenes, behind-the-scenes video diaries, all that good stuff. I haven't checked out how the Blu-ray looks, so I can't really speak about um, the video and the audio, but a review that I had read on uh, Blu-ray.com, I believe, gave it uh, pretty good remarks. I think they, you know, rated all that at like a 4.5 out of 5, so it seems uh, the Blu-ray of Jennifer's Body is definitely um, worth it, but I'm happy to have this one in the collection. Uh, the next one I got, I took a trek into New York um, with my girlfriend. We were going to see the Tim Burton exhibition at uh, the Museum of Modern Art, but unfortunately they were sold out for the day, so we um, hit up um, you know, a pretty uh, renowned uh, DVD store in New York uh, called Kim's, which is a cool place to go. So I was browsing along the, in there, so I actually stumbled upon um, a few cool things to show you guys, and uh, the first one is um, the last John Hughes film that I finally needed. Yes, I'm talking about She's Having a Baby. This is the last John Hughes film that he um, directed that I needed in my collection. So this film seals the deal. I own every John Hughes film finally. So I was really, really happy to find this. I believe that um, it was only like $8 brand new. So this was one that I was needing, and I got the last copy that they had. So this was definitely um, you know, a real worthy addition to uh, the collection. Really happy to have that one. The next one I got, again, was at Kim's, and they were really cool. They actually stocked up. They um, they bought, um, they ordered through the Warner Brothers Archive collection so they could have some of the archive titles in their store, which was awesome, and I knew that they had it. That was mainly the whole reason why I went to Kim's, you know, while we were in New York. So I stopped in there, and I found exactly what I wanted, um, the 1995 teen classic, in my opinion. I grew up on this film, and I just watched it last week, and it still holds up and makes me crack up as much as it ever did as a kid. I'm talking about Angus. I love this film. This film is so great. just captures, you know, what it feels like um, to be a kid, you know, a teenager, uh, specifically a teenager in the 90s. just captures that really, really cool you know, um, vibe and stuff. They got great people in this. You have George C. Scott as uh, Angus's grandfather. You have Kathy Bates. And um, this girl right here, uh, I for forget her name, um, but she was uh, she played Lex in Jurassic Park. So, um, you know, just really cool, uh, you know, interesting people that you find in this movie. But this is awesome. I would definitely recommend um, if you, uh, for you guys to go to the Warner Brothers Archive collection store and buy this. This is awesome. I kind of overpaid for this. I believe they sold it to me for like 25 so 
after shipping and everything, if I had ordered it through the Warner Brothers store, I only really got screwed out of like maybe two or three bucks, but it was worth it to finally have this, because out of all the Warner Brothers archives collections, um, titles, this is one that I was like fiending, fiending to get the most, so I'm so, so happy to get this. Absolutely check this out. Out of the whole lot, this is definitely um, one that I would recommend um, probably the most. Definitely check this out. Uh, the next one I got was another one that I got at Kim's, and this was like 12 bucks, and I surprisingly just didn't have it in the collection yet. So I picked up uh, a special edition of Black Christmas, uh, of course the original Bob Clark classic. So, um, yeah, I know a lot of people were... Um, hoping that I would review this um, around the holidays for Saturday Night Movie Drive-In, but I didn't have it at the time, and I knew I was going to review Silent Night, Deadly Night, but, you know, don't worry, there's always next year for me to review this title, so now that I have it in my possession, I think that it'd probably be a safe assumption um, that I would probably be reviewing this next year for Saturday Night Movie Drive-In, so definitely be on the lookout, you know, for that next fucking Christmas. But, uh, and then the final title that I had gotten at, um, at Kim's was... A double feature, and I would I would have preferred to just get the one movie, but the one movie on its own is actually out of print, so if you really do want it, um, the easiest way to get it is to get it in the double feature with this other film. So the double feature that I got was The Relic and Pet Cemetery 2. Uh, from what I heard, The Relic is a piece of shit. I've never seen it, nor have I seen Pet Cemetery 2, but Pet Cemetery 2 was the main reason as to why I bought this double feature. I know, um, I'm sure many of you guys know I'm a huge, huge Pet Cemetery fan. You can actually see my review of it um, if you refer back to the 31 Frightening Days of Halloween Marathon. It's um, my day two review. I love the original Pet Cemetery, and surprisingly, I just never saw Pet Cemetery 2. I didn't want to Netflix it, I just wanted to buy it and have it in the collection. And I've heard that Pet Cemetery 2 is a ton, ton of fun, so I'm really excited to check it out. Um, I think it's definitely, um, regardless of whether I love it or hate it, um, I, I think it's definitely safe to assume that uh, Pet Cemetery 2 will definitely be a future Saturday night movie drive-in review, so definitely be on the lookout for that in the future. Um, the next two I'm going to do, I'm probably just going to, these will probably be the last two I show for part two, and then we'll do a part three segment, um, in this DVD update. I know this is a massive update, so just wanted to get it all out there, but, um, the next two I got, uh, my sister had actually hooked me up with a $60 gift card to Amazon for, uh, my 22nd birthday, so I used that, and I bought, um, through the Amazon.com Create Space program with Nickelodeon, I got the first season of Hey Arnold and the second season of Hey Arnold, so I'm really, really happy to have these. I did, um, I checked out, a, like, a handful of episodes on season one. They look great, um, you know, as great as, uh, Rugrats did when I had bought those, so I'm really, really happy to have these. The prices are a little steep at times, but I figured, you know, with having a gift card, these were the best things to get, considering you can only get them through Amazon.com, so these were really great, and, uh, it's really cool to note that final, that all five seasons are, uh, readily available, um, through Amazon.com. It's a real, it's a real shitstorm, because they have the first four seasons of, um, dug out, but the last season is entitled the best of season four because they couldn't obtain like two episodes. So that really just dampens the whole thing of me like wanting to buy that. Like, I mean, I guess maybe in the, in the future I might invest in buying the Doug seasons, but knowing that like two episodes from season four, it's that like, you know, it just, it means you don't have every episode. It's just, it's kind of frustrating to know that, but all, every episode and every season of Hey Arnold is available, so I definitely plan on getting seasons three through five uh, in the near future, but, you know, those looked really, really great. Um, I think I'd probably do one more before I move on to part three. Uh, the next one I got was at Walmart again, and uh, again, it was uh, $9, and this is surprisingly one that I've never seen before, so don't, uh, don't hate me too much, but it is the special 15th anniversary edition of Groundhog Day, starring, uh, the, you know, the wonderful Bill Murray. I know, I know, I have never seen this. It was directed by Harold Ramis, who uh, many people would identify as playing Egon in the Ghostbusters movies. So I'm really excited to check this one out. I've never seen this, so for $9, I knew I couldn't, you know, hold off and you know, I couldn't hesitate any longer, so I finally managed to pick up this classic film, so I'm definitely really, really excited to check that this one out. I'm sure I'll love it. Well, I guess I'm going to cut off part two at this point. Tune in to um, the final part of my January 5th DVD update in uh, part three. So, um, you know, as always, guys, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you over at part three. Thanks again.